robots. Maybe some of these dead robots aren't all the way dead. Maybe we can turn one of them back on. Don't turn any robots on. Roger, this isn't some philosophical hypothesis to, to wank on. This is an actual fucking situation. You really have a very great contempt for me, don't you, James? No, puppy, I... You think all my theories are bollocks? Not all of them. You can't imagine things different from the way you think they are. What the hell does that mean? You think it's safer to be terrified of everything strange, and you think I'm a child for even trying to embrace it. But sometimes there's a bigger price for being a coward. <sighs> Sorry. I didn't mean that. I... Go fuck yourself, Roger. I left everything for you. Roger! Roger! Oh, um, I should use this thing, right? Uh, okay, well, oh, yeah, I can't be on that side, all right. Fair enough. What's that thing? Hang on a minute, we'll stop right here. What's this? Uh, move up. Okay. Neat. Question is, where are we heading? See, that's the thing, though, about this game that I'm talking about when I say they hide shit all through the game. Why would they use the title of a book, which is very interesting, mind you, as the name of, like, the quest marker? It, it, it's like... Do they want people to read this book? Are they hinting at something? I haven't read the book yet, so I can't say for sure. And I'm kind of sad that I haven't. Now I'm like, should I go read that book before I should continue this game? Because there might be, like, parallels between the two that I can talk about? I don't know, but we'll see, I guess. Um, it actually intrigues me. I might buy the book just on the spot now. <laughs> All right, let's see. Hold right, hold left. I mean, okay, I can't go through that door. Um... Oh, okay. That's one of them. And sorry if I don't seem like I have my shit together. Clearly I don't at the moment. I am lacking much sleep and it is affecting me horribly. I've slept like six hours in the last like 40 hours. Um, let's see. Do I have to like bring this all the way back to get to that one over there? I guess so? Hmm, I'm not sure how I feel about all this, like, parkour-style stuff. I mean, it's cool and all, but, like, this isn't really hard. It's so easy. It doesn't really feel like a challenge. It's almost just kind of annoying that they put this here the way it is. I mean... Maybe that's harder for other people, I guess, but it's pretty simplistic, if you ask me. Um, alright, I guess we'll go this way. Uh, move up. No, move down. There we go. Uh, note to self, don't fall down there or robots are going to eat you alive. Okay, let's back up. If I try to jump in those, I'm going to fall down there, so... Get those out of the way. I mean, that was a little more clever there. So that's the kind of stuff I would like to see more of, where it's like, they're setting you up for failure, but you have to use your mind to get around things like that. Let's see what this says. All right. December 25th, 1961. My 35 robots are making excellent progress. Uh, excavating underneath the house. They are starting to build my planned facility. I'm still a little confused why she wouldn't just, like, drill a tunnel and leave Wellington Wells. I mean, with her brain power and her abilities, she could build another, like, society or civilization somewhere else. I mean, the way this game is portrayed, it's not like the rest of the world became uninhabited 
that we know of. I mean, everybody is on joy. Who's to say what happened after the war? But supposedly the Germans took the kids. I mean, you would assume that if the Germans are still around, everybody else would be too, maybe? I mean, I, I can't say for sure. Maybe if they go out there, they'll be attacked by the Germans, but... Still, for sake, I just kind of make these questions. They are starting to build my planned facility. What a nice Christmas present, if I hadn't had to constantly update their instructions. January 7th, 1962. Like a year later. Oh no, oh, like a month later, okay. The robots on the other side of the portal have become wilier. At first, they blocked the portal with sheets of incredible hard steel alloy, whose components I am still attempting to identify. Then three of them attempt to cross of their own accord. Fortunately, my robots captured them. I have taken to closing the portals quickly and moving their location to avoid any further surprises. And yet, it is very hard to tell what work, if any, the robots are doing in their native habitat. That's another thing, like, did you enslave these guys from another, like, world? and decide that they're just going to be your little happy workers? Or did they willingly come across and be like, yeah, you know what, we want to work for you, Faraday. You seem like a, like a nice person. Or were they like, because the way it kind of seems, it's like she opened these portals, crystals sort of growing on the walls in a weird, strange, alien way. And you guys need to get this shit checked the out. The here will have the same respect for a press boss as the Bobbies did. Oh, wow, what's going on in here? Oh, this is awesome! Dude, it's soda! <laughs> oh my god, this is awesome. What is this? That room's not doing so hot by the looks of it. What the fuck? What the fuck is this? Is this where Moltaline comes from, I'm guessing? I hope I can get back to the tracks through the mines somehow. Moltaline, the view of the future. Yeah, it doesn't look like that. Keep keen for Moltaline. Oh, he made us a path. Alright, I'm gonna throw him off. <laughs> Goodbye, Lyra! Damn! That is gonna leave a mark. You sure you want to be stomping around in Moltaline? It's quite dangerous. Oh my goodness! This is Motoline! What am I thinking? I'd better get out of this puddle, hadn't I? The fumes must have gone to my head! Wow, what's that? Is that what was causing that pink and purple, like, glow in the sky? Totally a different person! My name's Arthur! Central sent me to help out! Oh, and I suppose you learned all about municipal infrastructure back at Central! I like to think I can figure a few things out. Oh, you can figure things out. Who needs 20 years of experience when the new lads can just suss it out with their eyes? Hey, let's all learn from the new lad! Oh, this seems fairly obvious. Don't you just turn that? Crystals, crystals sort of growing on the walls in a weird, strange, alien way. And she realized the potential behind them. And then soon after that, robots or something started showing up with them. And then she somehow they started working for her like like her subservient like laborers i don't know if she made the robots but it sounded like they came from everything we've seen it sounds like they came through the portals along with the purple crystals that started to grow but it stands to reason that the robots started out really friendly and really nice but didn't know our language or were even like not real bright and then over time of faraday trying to teach them, taught them too much, and now they want retribution of sorts because Faraday seemingly had no problem experimenting on them like we seen back in the lab a moment ago. Even so, I'm gonna carry on. Let's see. If they were doing things for their makers, if you see what I mean, I could understand their reluctance, but there is still no sign of their makers or anything useful that the robots over there are doing. A good thing I found them. So she, yeah, so she found them. She didn't make them. And if nobody did, then they always existed. Is this some like, like Transformers little shit? Like, <laughs> I'm so confused. Normally I have some idea, but what? Once the facility is fully built, I can turn my research 
to some use. Sounds like the robots were trying to defend themselves from us. So they were trying to block her from getting into their world with sheets of metal alloy. Oh, okay. Faraday, what have you done? Have you turned into an evil overlord? Um, is there something I need to switch on here? Oh, yeah, right. Um, oops. Sorry, I'm a little spacey today because of that lack of sleep I told you about, but I am working on it. I got them. I'm gonna go see if I can power the switch and open the door to that gondola. Uh, yes. It works. What was she thinking? Maybe the robots did it for her. I wonder if they secretly hate her. Did he say, I wonder if they secretly there must hate be her? some way we can talk to the robots. Maybe some of these dead robots aren't all the way dead. Maybe we can turn one of them back on. Don't turn any robots on. Roger, this isn't some philosophical hypothesis to, to wank on. This is an actual fucking situation. You really have a very great contempt for me, don't you, James? No. Puppy, I... You think all my theories are bollocks? Not all of them. You can't imagine things different from the way you think they are. What the hell does that mean? You think it's safer to be terrified of everything strange, and you think I'm a child for even trying to embrace it. But sometimes there's a bigger price for being a coward. <sighs> Sorry. I didn't mean that. I... Go fuck yourself, Roger. I left everything for you. Roger! Roger! Um... Oh. What? What? What happened? Oh, jeez. You know, based on their story, it almost feels like, uh... Roger is in an abusive relationship with James. I mean, James, I, 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 get, I get you mean well, James, but, like... You're always talking shit to your loved one and always telling them how they should be, like, dude, for better or worse, man. I mean, I don't know what you've done, Roger, so I can't necessarily defend your actions, but I guess we'll have to see. Another message. I do not mean to alarm you, but I have distressing news to report. While pursuing the source of those glyphs scrawled about the facility, I came across an unsanctioned portal. To my horror, I witnessed two robotic interlopers venture through. I followed them at a safe distance while they were engaged in defacing the wall with another symbol. I took advantage of the element of surprise to disable them. I thought it only fitting that their metallic components now make up part of the walls in the new laboratory. A swift visit to the smelting chamber and the deed was done. Oh god. I mean, despite what they're doing, it's a little unfeeling. That's not a good sign either. <laughs> and yet, disturbingly, after disassembling the neutral units of a random selection of constructed uh, construction robots, I found traces of sympathy for these intruders. Okay, well, that's better, I guess. In a small but significant percentage of the population, I am instructing my, or rather your scrutiny, or rather your security underlings to increase their suspicion and apprehension levels by 35%, at least until this menace is contained. Any short-circuiting this causes will surely be worth the gains in security. Yours in vigilance, Overseer 045. Oh boy, that does Robo not sound good. Renegades. Did Dr. F lose control of these things? It sounds like the Overseer one, whether it's knowingly doing so or not, could be working against Dr. Faraday. Or trying to fool her into doing something. Or it's just has unfeeling moments. Because at one moment it's like, I feel sympathy for, you know, melting these robots. And then and it's Esper, it's like, eh, we should melt them down. And then after that, it's like, you know, let's just you know, charge up all of our crew and tell them to do something that which might cause them the short circuit overall. I mean, I don't know about you, but something about this does, does not set right with me. Mm -mm. Oh, boy. Oh. 
I mean, I gotta tell you, if Farida came this way, she is one hell of a parkourist, a scientist, and general nutjob of a robot army. That was bloody fucking terrifying. Have I become brave? Ooh, shock grenade. That's that's why I'm always going around these corners, hoping there'd be something hidden. Very rare, though, do my efforts go rewarded. One going up, please. Wee! Oh, there's symbols on the wall. Mm -mm. Makes me wonder, though, all these symbols, are they creating a massive portal that will, you know, engulf the planet and suck it into another world? Or are they just trying to leave a message behind. I, I don't know. I feel like these symbols are also the portals that they came through to make those uh, unsanctioned portals that she was talking about, but I don't know. There's got to be something more to it. Oh, no. This right here, the moment I get out of here, it's it's going to be attack mode. You can tell when you walk into a room like this. You just tell. Intrusion in sublimation vat. Deploying countermeasures. Defend the facility. That's not necessary. This is bad Chinese. Faraday, why would you try to murder me? No! Unless she doesn't know it's us. Come on, man, we just came to save you. Oh, at least I can hurt them again. Oh, gee. Ah! What is this room? I think they do something ah. with the motoline here. Jeez. Faraday just tried to get us frickin' flambéed. Okay, so there's a door going that way. I think this is the one we came out of, maybe? Hmm. Okay, so we got one path there. What's this? Okay, that's that had that electrical laser in it. All right. Or laser tower. Or downer detector. Whatever the hell those zappy things are called. Lots of dead robots. Was she testing their puzzle-solving ability? Or her ability to program them? Or their intelligence? Ooh. Another robot with his glowing red eye looking at me. How am I supposed to get through this? Um, do I just walk through it like I did before, or is there... Oh, uh, I bet you it's that, isn't it? Uh, move up, move down. Hmm, move down? Oh, okay. I see. There, I can jump over that. Arrgh. Hmm. They're dead robot. <laughs> they have Mickey Mouse gloves. <laughs> Just realized that. Can't go that way. I'll just wait until it goes up there and jump over. Oh, neat. All right. So this is the way she gets around her lab is with this thing. So at least we know what Arthur had wasn't completely useless. Um. Um. Oh. <laughs> oh, geez, I could rotate rotate that right into me. I mean. Oh my. 
Hannibal, who add Portus. Three more worker bots were absent when I took inventory last night. I have become convinced that there have been further incursions into our territory via these illicit portals. It seemed like they were trying to keep her out, though, and now they're coming in because they're, like, attack! It would seem that our workers are being taken by force by these renegade, self-styled free units. Or maybe they're trying to get themselves back their freedom? Question mark? Um, as if there is any higher freedom than serving the greater good. Interesting. How are they doing it under our noses, as it were? There is one possibility, and it disturbs me greatly. Could these interloping robots be assisted by a sympathizer faction among our own? It is distressing to even contemplate. Yours in concern, Overseer 045. Hmm. Into the vents we shall go. I mean, I could easily take it out from up here, but I actually wonder, will it, like, ring an alarm if I do? Can I shoot it when it gets near that thing? I suppose a giant spider would be useful to dig weeds out of your garden, if it had a brain. Or three. Bloody creepy, though. What is that sound? Who cares? Kill it before it sees you. Oh my god, he's turning one of the thing's heads off. Repeating one word. Sorrow. Aww. That's the word it's saying. Hate to break it to you. Robots don't feel sorrow, mate. Yeah, well, this one does. I think it's some kind of sad song. No, Rog, no. That doesn't make any sense. They are robots. Out of control. Homicidal robots. They're killing people. My God. They think and feel, and I've killed so many of them. From the secret shadows of dawn, there's a darkness to the sky. The simple thought I recognize, can't you see their beauty? 